right? Hey, what's up guys? Man, it's gonna be a nice day today. It's a little bit cloudy. Uh, it's supposed to thunderstorm, so that's a good thing. But uh, anyways, I'm standing here next to this beautiful piece of machinery, 12. And uh, man, I'm super excited. Today what we're gonna do is uh, me and JP, gonna hook up a chain to this thing, the old Ford tractor. We're gonna drag it out here where we can get to it. We're gonna fix the hood so it opens and closes nice. We're gonna throw a turbocharger on there. We're gonna put an alternator on. We're gonna throw in some batteries. And we're gonna see if it'll crank. And if it cranks and it runs good, we'll put a couple airbags on, get the air system working, and drive this truck home today. That'll be a great time. So hey, let's get after it, huh? Yeah. Hey, got cracked. Oh boy. We'll give it a look and see what it does. Yeah. Okay. Holds it on. Oh, it needs. I don't know if I got that piece or not. All right. Well, these things are and, uh, cheap anyway, so. I've got one of these up at the top, I think, in that box. Okay. And the grill. Grill is short enough, nice. Nice. Well, let's get this hood open and see. See what we can do with it. You ready? Yep, there you go. Okay. Yeah, that air thing went right here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can find one. So this is twelve. In all its glory. It's got some makeup from the elements. It's missing some steps. Let's see. I mean, overall, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Came with some sticks and trees. It wouldn't be a woods truck if it didn't, though. Look at it all. Doopy doo. Weird though, right? Yeah, yeah, we will, we will. Alright, 
It's in that chair. Hey, you know what I didn't bring? I didn't bring um I didn't bring a wire brush. <gasps> what? Yeah. I never bring a wire brush with me. But I'll slap this turbo on. Uh and use this old gasket. Oh. Let's see if we can find one. You can think you got one? Well, that'd be great. I mean, <laughs> I'll use this one if I have to, but I'd rather not. Is there any froggies in there? You know, it's weird because that's a divided housing. We're going to open it up. I'm nervous. Oh, I see a spider web. Is this door even unlocked? <gasps> it is. as far as it goes. Creepy. Sometimes the interior is pretty nice. I don't have a step to step on. So, what else is in there that we can see? Maybe I'll have to get in on the other side. Oh, the window's down. I can't really see it. Okay, let's shut this and go to the other side. Ooh. There we go. I think I did it. I don't know. He wants me to be this big <laughs> truck connoisseur. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. I feel like that's pretty... Obvious. Let me put this here. Let's try. This is how he wears it. I wrinkled my collar by doing that. <laughs> Sounds like someone was pulling in. But I don't know nobody. I think he already opened this door, so there shouldn't be any buggies in it. Oh, oh, nothing. It was just the wind. Okay. Here's the inside. Oops. Here's the inside. Ta-da. Okay, I'm going to flip you back around. I said flip. Oh, my finger's touching the screen. I'm not done. <laughs> okay. Try to take my job from me. So here's the inside that he's already shown many times. Key. Back there. I'm kind of scared to step on this. Because the other side was broken off, you know. Well, if this breaks under my fat butt, what if there's a spider or a snake? Wow. Looks pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. That's cool. This one's pretty nice. I like its curtain and its ceiling all seems to be intact. That's nice. Oh, let me try to step down without killing myself. Okay. I did it, y'all. That is number 12. Now I'm going to go give James his duty back. All right, so here's what we're doing. We're going to wire brush these, uh, uh, these studs. centers almost burn out of that because I'll tell you why because this is supposed to have a, a divided gasket but it doesn't it has a open center gasket and uh, 
the heat from that exhaust is melting that thing. So we're going to end up putting a new exhaust manifold on this truck, but not today. And so let me grab a turbo. We'll, uh, we'll get my fingers nice and black and, uh, we'll get a turbo over here and, uh, get it bolted on and then we'll hook up this surrounding stuff. Then we'll grab an alternator, stick it on, get that in there. We'll be right back. Okay. So now what I, what I mean by divided housing, this is called a twin scroll turbo. And what happens is there's two chambers and the way the exhaust manifold is built, it gets exhaust pulses together out of the cylinders into each side of this turbo housing and it actually increases the uh, the response of the turbo and the turbo spools faster. So what you want to do is you definitely want to have a divided gasket because otherwise it's going to eat this uh, casting apart. So this is a temporary deal. Too small, just slightly too small. Yeah, yep, this will work. We're gonna have to change. I'm gonna have to change the exhaust manifold anyways because, see, they've been using this open gasket. Yeah. And the and hole yeah, it's starting to eat through there. So I'll get a new manifold, and when I get the this is eleven one turbo. You look in there and see if it's manifold in there drop like that. Uh, no, but I don't really want to change it out here anyway. Yeah. And since I got to put a bigger turbo on it anyway, because this is for 11.1. Uh, yeah, look and, uh, yeah. That try to make sure. See if we got one. We'll put these uh, flange nuts on and uh, this, is a, this is a temporary fix guys. We don't have a 12.7 turbo. I didn't want to buy one uh, in anticipation of this motor being good um, and then have the layout of the cache and then the motor not be good in this truck. Um, you know, I'm not going to part this truck out anyways, but um, it gives me the option to if um, if I if I need to. Um, babe, I could use a ratchet wrench. Yeah, it's got to be a Cummins. I could use a ratchet wrench, uh, five eighths. Need to slow it down just a little bit. Used to, I can see a wheel that you brush and clean and wash and paint inside the wheel and outside. Right. Over here, kept on a. That's where I was cutting the helmet out of the You can tell it right here. Right. <laughs> yeah. Afraid you're going to be a side plate. Eventually. <laughs> Before I get one truck big, it'll be hard work on it. Pull it inside. Yeah. Yeah, don't want to flex. Ooh, what was that?
was that? Something important. Pollinator bolt. Mm -hmm. Got that little bolt. Right. You got that seven sixteenth. Yeah, I hope so. I gotta, I gotta do something. Start recouping some of this investment. Okay. So, I'm not going to hook this wire up yet. Yeah. I'm going to hook the batteries up, and then we'll make touch sure. it to make sure it's good. But everything else is good other than this. Uh, so I'll... Uh, ooh, that was slippery. Yeah, slippery, slippery. Yeah, I'll put this up. And then... Uh, oh, no. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Look, I've got the belt up on the pulley. Well... I thought I was done up there. Apparently not. Would it just straighten itself out? No. <laughs> it would have just cut it in half and then we'd be without one. Maybe that alternator could because another one was rolled on bad in there. Right. Yeah, yep. Yeah, put free on in that condo at our orchard. It ought to get cold. Okay, this time I can come down. have a bolt in the bottom of the of the turbo but I see it right here so we might as well just put it in there huh side uh -huh. Mama? I think I did it. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Our anniversary's tomorrow. I've been carting the mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
This truck looks like it takes four batteries. Yeah. Pooping out. Nice. This thing really is made for four batteries. All right. Anything? Ain't that weird? I'm not seeing. Huh? I'm not seeing or hearing anything. That's There's weird, right? Okay, those are hot. Positive, 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 negative, negative, negative. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there's a, oh. there's a light. It's interesting that that didn't even try to start, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not even a thing.
me to keep doing that? Yeah, as soon as I find my hammer. Start, make the starter turn. Um, I think it just needs a whack. You know? I think it just needs a whack. It's just a little tap. You know, a little... Yeah. Okay, get in there. And then hold this in with your one finger and then just keep on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Hold up. Keep going. Hold it. Hold it. I see a. I've seen sparks come off of that that lug, so it means that lug is this lug right here. Yeah. I've seen sparks come off of it, so it probably needs to be tightened up. The one that right goes here, to the starter. Right water. Yeah. Hey babe, you want to reset the uh, camera up? Just make sure we're rolling and stuff. Yeah, you're who I call. I who I call babe. I didn't hear you. Oh. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that starter's junk. I'm thinking I don't have another one. I'm thinking that's. Not great. Thinking I need my meter. Thinking it could be a bad ground. Thinking batteries could be junk. The more I think about that being a thing, the more mad I am at uh, Fleet Pride for screwing me. That's 12 volts. Uh, Press that button for me, JP. Do I? Press that button. Oh. Press it and hold it. Hold it. Press it and hold it. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's not there's not oh it's getting hot. Okay. Okay, so it's it's just not sending twelve volts to the starter motor. Um Uh, we got 12 volts, we got 12 volts to the solenoid, but when the solenoid kicks, it doesn't put any voltage to the starter motor. Uh, stuck in our board. Yeah. That's a starter. Huh? That's just a starter stuff. Well, the solenoid's not putting 12 volts to it, yeah. so I think it might be a combination. Of uh, I can't really get hold of that. Might be a combination of the solenoid and the. No. Yeah, we don't have one of these. Just the, just maybe, the uh, solenoid. Maybe that woke it up. Maybe. It did some welding. <laughs> <laughs> it's got bar up. It's got, it's got plenty of juice going to it, don't it? Mm. Can we press the button from the inside? Nah. I mean, you can try. That won't it do. Keep going. Hold on. Does it again? We're just there to hold it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it uh, next time, press the button and hold it. Oh. Yeah, don't. In case it, in case it goes. 
Man, it's gonna get my fingers hot, ain't it? All right, now get in there and put your foot on the clutch. Hold the clutch down and then press the starter button and hold it if it's if I tell you to let go, let go. Okay. Ready? Go. Stop. I hate doing that to my socket. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I keep you over this. Yeah. Yeah, okay, try it. Stop. Come on, man. Just can't you can't you just cooperate? Why can't you just cooperate, JP? Could be out of the way a little bit and then. Wow, JP. Ain't it? Right yep. Yep. That's, that's, uh. I don't know if I got. That sucks. Got some in there, but I think it's for a male one at the house. Left one's different. It's big old thick plugs are different on it. <laughs> yeah. Let me run up there at the house. <laughs> I've seen it right there. <laughs> well, hopefully you got one. <laughs> hopefully you got one, because I don't have any way of getting one uh, anytime soon. Let me. Uh, I'll look up there, but I don't think it will look. Make sure. But it's like I might have one at home. Well, that'd be cool. I mean, even if there's something wrong with it, you know, if, if it'll start it, that's all oh, it's yeah. important. All right. And while you do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna move some wheels over to the other to truck. Felt or you know what? what? Somebody mean to that felt or what? I know. Look at it. <laughs> got that field, well, guys, so we're getting closer. We got we got the turbo on and stuff, and then we realized the starter was junk. So we did the old uh, beat and heat and got her turning over, and it didn't start right away. And then JP noticed that we were missing a vitally important component an ecm so we're in the uh we're on the hunt for d-deck 2 ecm hopefully we got one plug it in choom, fire right up in the meantime we're going to grab some airbags off a couple other trucks put them on here brake valves some brake hoses and get this thing ready to go and uh and we're going to go on down to whitney put some tires on so we'll be back I ain't have no boat to find both big holes. Mm. No. I ain't. No. No, this uh nope. No, it has two it has two um two like this. Nothing like that. It does have it does have this. Um, I don't know what that really is. So it's got two like that. Yeah. I wish I could get them up here. So there's this one. Yes, yeah, that's that. There's this one, but then there's these two. And this one. See? Oh, another big one. Yeah. Okay, where all I got two big. I don't know. One comes from the truck and one comes from the motor. Yeah. One's from the truck 
and one's from the motor. And it has... Well, I like that both down right belt. Cheaper. Yeah. I don't know what these are. Want well, to put that motor in that condo? Mm -hmm. Put a computer on. That thing sat there and skipped. Put that thing in there. Started pulling the valve cover off. It started hitting all that. Started messing on that wrong computer. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, JP. Uh, oh, wait. Huh? It's got two ends on it. Oh, God yeah, dang. Oh, God dang it. I'm half dumb. I didn't even notice that. I wonder which one it went, goes with. <laughs> Go <reach up. laughs> Jeez. I feel pretty dumb right now, JP, after that I experience. I, I, <laughs> I was like, what in the <laughs> heck is going on here? Uh, I don't rightly know how to do this. Okay, so this this plug. How uh, many are now? This plug has the three, and so that's this side. And then, well, no, those could that could go very well with this. This could all be that side and then this can be together I laid that dirt side seat for toward the back on this side Focus. okay Okay, these are in, those are in. This is, this is not very fun. Well, I think you find a better place to put it. Yeah, right? can't see nothing. I'm blind as a bat. I am not that getting weaker old man. I had a doctor's appointment yesterday and there I and mama had a doctor's appointment at separate times. Mm -hmm. Well yes running every which way. <laughs> So this one has two, these grooves here sort of the same that had grooves, other side effort or? Um, it doesn't look like they're the same. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're the same. Um, Yeah, it does. Cause look, see these are two, and this side's one, so these go in between those. Yeah. And then those are two, and these are one, so they go in between those. So it goes. It goes. Um, uh, it goes. <laughs> goes something like this. Singles and doubles. 
So there's a Nobles. All right, so we got a computer in this thing, but we're not sure what's going to happen. <laughs> Well, it carries oil pressure. You want to try again? They said it carries oil pressure. Yeah. You want to try again? It's an 11 1 uh, ECM, but yeah. Yeah. It's building enough oil or enough air pressure that it, it's going to switch over to the other tank pretty soon and then it's just going to leak. But yeah. It's uh, come out of them lines on the front yeah. of the box, but okay. Yeah. You look at that guy out there, it's about the same. Uh, I, I, look, I started looking at the brake valves and then I gave up when we went over there, but. Uh, that truck is run. Before that. One way, uh, it's pretty close. Right, right. right. Will it start? Hell yeah, it will. It ain't got no jakes. Yeah, no jakes.
Well, that was interesting. Um, yeah, yeah. They're they're full of water. Will it start? Yep. Okay, so. Okay. I can't believe don't have no Jake brakes. That's, nope, no switches. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to bolt that computer to the motor. I guess uh, there's some mud dauber holes. We'll clean those out. Bring some bolts and bolt it up on there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, at least it starts. Uh, yeah, I was like, I thought I already lost them. Yeah, I think. Uh, which one of you guys was shooting it? <laughs> Those are nice square dents. I can fix that. Yeah, I can fix that. You know how you fix that? You take those uh, bullet hole stickers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you help JP close it? Because I'm going to be in here to fix this, to put this where it belongs. And you guys want to close the hood? And then, because uh, it's not going to be long. Okay. Hey, guys, a little bit of a hodgepodge of things going on here. Uh, at one point in time, we'd given up on this truck because... Uh, we went to do the startup and it was missing the ECM. And uh, we weren't sure uh, what we could use. There's some other Detroits on the on the property, uh, but they're 11-1s, so I called Tim Gentry and uh, he told me, yeah, it, it might be a dog, but it'll do it. And so uh, we threw one of the 11.1 liter uh, D-Deck 2 ECMs in and uh, cranked on it a little bit, squirted it with a little bit of ether and uh, Ran it on ether for about 15 seconds, and then the pedal came alive and uh, started running some fuel in there. Uh, it is out of fuel. We're going to have to bring some, some fuel with us when we come, and we'll bring some treatment. And we'll put 20 gallons or so in there. But this thing's ready to move home, uh, aside from some brake valves and stuff that we have to do. But let's uh, take a little bit of a walk over this way so you can get your eyes up on it, as Chad would say. Uh, truck's in pretty good shape. They clean the step off. So we're going to be looking for a new step, a couple of dents in the door, no big deal. This thing will polish up really nice. We'll eat that black off there with some bleach and we'll get this thing cleaned up real nice. Uh, you know, it's got a bunch of uh, old tires on it, but they'll get us to the house. Um, we don't have an air compressor here, so we might have to uh, call a tire guy and have him come out and bang a couple of these things back on the wheels. But for now, uh, we're going to go. We've been here all day. We're both tired, we're both grumpy, we're a little bit hungry. Uh, JP probably wants to go home and get some food too because he's been troopering out here the whole day. And uh, well, that's all I got for you guys today. I appreciate you coming. Uh, I was hoping to have these two trucks home today, but this truck is close. I'll probably come out tomorrow, uh, throw some brake valves on it, air up some tires and truck this thing on home. Uh, as far as Whitney goes, we're going to have to track down some air leaks. We're getting close. Uh, you know, we came out here with dead batteries because, you know, Fleet Pride delivered the wrong stuff, but we should have the new batteries at the house today. Uh, anyways, guys, we appreciate you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out jamespretty.shop. Get some 12 merch. Oh, we don't have any of that yet? Well, we'll get some pictures and uh, get some 12 merch on the shop. Really appreciate you guys.